But all you need is balls for this. The first thing I want to talk about is actually a passing mentality. So a bit like goal kicking, with, with passing, we don't need a full range of motion every pass. So obviously, if I'm kicking the ball to Georgia here, I don't need my full wind up and full kick. Otherwise, that happens. So just like passing, if I'm only passing the ball from here to Georgia, I don't need this full massive power, all my body weight with a massive high follow through. So all I really need is just like the kick, bring things back in, stay nice and calm and just get through to target. Cool. So I know uh, a lot of coaching points really like to see this massive follow through, big straight arms, but it's really hard to execute that in a game. So if we can just be nice and calm from this front hip, get through to there, everything's going to be quicker. It's called my seven iron. So we don't need a driver. We just need my seven iron club just to get the ball to Georgia there. So much more speedy, so much more powerful, just like the kick. You don't need a massive wind up to kick from me to Georgia. You just need that little seven iron pass. So bring that into your game. Not every pass is a driver, some passes are pops, but you gotta work on your seven iron. So we'll talk about that throughout the passing session. Let's do it. So the first thing we're doing starting off with is clean catching. So a big part of passing and be, being able to execute the pass really fast is catching the ball clean for a start. So when George just catches this ball, I don't want to see any movement in the hand. So if I've caught the ball like that, I don't want to then rearrange my hands to pass the ball. So this whole time, however the ball comes in, you can hear it nice and clean on the fingertips. We're going to move around. So my body position is low. I've got my legs are engaged, my core is engaged. I'm not just up here wasting my time. Georgia to get two hands to the ball front of it, wherever it is, stop rearranging those hands, girl. So we've just got through clean catching, so catching the ball in two hands, that was our warm-up drill. Now we're going, moving, progressing through to catching a spiral pass. So I'm going to be set up to catch a spiral. What I want to do with my inside hand, so the ball's coming from my left, is actually just drop it a little bit. So when I catch this ball, I'm going to be ready, hold that ball, Georgia, I'm going to be ready to catch from here and transfer across my body fast so I don't have to rearrange my hands. So it's just a catching drill. I'm actually not going to pass, so drop that bottom hand, boom, and I'm ready to go there. As you can see, my hands are ready just to fire that pass purely just from dropping that inside hand boom just get your body ready to pass just going to do a set so again i've caught that perfectly don't need to rearrange my hands just do one more g drop that hand boom boom as you can see there my hands are perfect ready to throw a spiral pass so that's my key point inside hand drop it so that when you catch that ball ready to throw a spiral pass so now we're into a bit of passing action now. So we're just doing a wrist flick drill. So the ball's actually in front of our body, starting in this position here with your hands nice and fat on the ball. Don't get too long on the ball. So nice and fat on the ball from in front because we want to get those wrists involved punching through. Both our follow throughs are at each other's chest. Boom, getting aggressive. Body's nice and set. My legs are engaged using that for extra power. Great extension there, G. So from in front of my body, I'm punching out. So you can alternate hands here. My left isn't as good as my right with this drill but a really good way to start from the front of the body, punching out. Nice. Two more, one, two. So I picked this drill up from Aaron Smith when I was down in Dunedin and did a session with him. So this is one of his favorite drills. Now how it looks, really important that the ball's in front of our right knee. So from front on, that ball's sitting in front of there, so it's not too wide. Reason being is what we're going to do is from this position, we're going to go down with one hand. Hand's going to be on top of the ball, so it's two movements. So press, roll out, and then we're pointing through to target. So yes, you will get some ugly ones with this drill, but it's just teaching you to load up that body, punch through. Really important that we're actually using our bicep on this. So bicep's the first part of the movement being nice and strong through the body, then our tricep's gonna extend. So down, press, roll out, punch. What's this other hand doing? Well, it can be out pointing at the target. I find that that can be a bit of a distraction at times. You can just start nice and chilled. Hand on hip, I, I prefer a little bit. Punch through, let's just do two more. Boom. Now we're just going to go to two hands. So when you go down with two hands, obviously we don't want to roll out with both. So this back hand is going to go straight into that under, under the ball position, up the back of the ball, nice and fat, ready to punch. Same thing, biceps ready to fire. This other hand is just a guide, punching through. Big strong finish, as you can see with my follow through and George's follow through, getting through. My hips are moving forward. My body's nice and extended. My back's nice and long through to target. Now with these, I always like to finish with about three or four or five at 100%, just maxing out, just so that we really get aggressive and teach ourselves to pass at that 100%. It doesn't matter if you make a few errors, as long as we're trying to increase our passing power and become a really strong halfback, we'll pass with the ball. 
pistol drill, the, so I like to have my hand in the midline, not too far on the back of the ball. So just up the back of the ball, but nice and fat on the ball. Don't want to get too far behind the hip, just because that's going to teach bad habits and get that sling happening. One hand on the ball, other hand on the hip, punching through to target. Hand over at the top. Just The other thing too, don't get too low on the body, so we don't want pistol drill from low. We want it from just above that hip height. We need to get comfortable passing through this plane, not this plane. So we've done front on pistol drill, punching out here, now we're gonna get that side on. Now key points with this, my chest can turn to target, I'm happy with it getting through there. So from that back hip, other hand just on hip, doesn't have to be up, just on that hip, not too low, high on that hip. Punch through the target, as you can see there, I'm extended. All that power going towards George's chest. I don't care if you get a few ugly ones with this, I'd rather see a powerful pistol pass and a real passive one doing that. So get aggressive, get powerful. The only way we're gonna get better at passing is doing stuff with, with power. So we've progressed from the Aaron Smith drill from the ground, now we're up standing. So again, all that good stuff we've been talking about, knees set, bodies on, cause engage. We're gonna go from front hip and then back hip to what front hip looks like. My elbows are nice and close to the body, so this one's out here, we're not tucked all behind the body, just in line with my target, front hip, punching through to G. Nice G, so that's front hip. So always just checking it back in there, not cheating, front hip, boom, bit of wrist strength involved. From there, we're just gonna go straight to back hip, hip, enjoy that extra power. You really can feel that whiff straight across your body just from that little bit of distance from the front hip to the back hip. Yes, it's important to give your partner a target, all that usual stuff. Punch out, get that tricep firing, load up that bicep here, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. So we've just staggered ourselves a little bit, so G's about a meter in front of me, pulling it back, just like an in-game pass where we have to pull the ball back. So from that uh, back hip, punching through. So we've really got to turn our upper body, uh, rotate our, our chest to target, and really punch through. Boom. Nice G. Two more. One. Big strong follow through. Last one. Hit me. Beautiful. So that's staggered passing. So this is just working on our seven iron. So all we're going to do is pop the ball in our middle of our body and then quick transfer it out. So when we catch, we can't recoil. So we can't take the ball from our midline outside that midline. It's got to go from here and then pass. Now back to what I was saying at the start of the driver versus the seven iron. So I don't need a massive big driver to get it to Georgia. If I do that, well, I don't need all this power. I just need to quick transfer the ball to Georgia just like in the game. A little pop to ourselves. We're just going to keep walking. Detach your legs from your upper body, you don't need any power from the legs. Quick transfer, catch and out. Go back the other way, G. So catch, transfer, keep those hips square. Passing forward, my chest can get through to target. Don't take it outside the midline. Catch, have those hands ready to fire as soon as you've caught the ball. Nice quick transfer, don't need a driver. I'm doing one of my favorite quick transfer drills. So you've got to give yourself about a meter to ex execute the pass in. So from here, I'm going to start in line with these cones. That black pole's my target. So this is a quick transfer drill. Now, when we're doing quick transfers, I actually don't want you to turn in your chest at your target. I know a lot of coaches are coaching this to have your body facing in to keep you square. That's just going to slow us down. So I actually want you to have your hips open and be have both feet facing forward. Now with this, just like we talked about before in the passing drill, I'm receiving from my right. So I want to just drop my right hand slightly so when that ball comes in I'm going to have my hands ready to pass the ball. From there I'm just going to use my seven iron pass straight across my body and hit that pole. I've got to execute this pass within this meter that means I've got to keep my feet under myself. Stay cool, tall, quick transfer. Don't need a massive driver just my wee seven iron. So let's see how we go. Next thing I'm going to wait till that ball is in the air so it's about two meters away from me then I can move on to it. Right Gio? Cool, quick transfer. Boom. That's one. Really got to get it out of there. So, quick transfer, let's go. Yes! 